I'm Jane. And I'm Amanda. Welcome, Welcome to, to Come Dows with me. With me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what happened there. <laughs> oh, happy days, happy days. What number episode are we on? I think we're on about episode seven now, aren't we? Episode seven. Yeah. And today, we're going to talk about one of my favourite things, so I'm going to sing <laughs> Ancestral Dowsing. <gasps> oh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so ancestral, family tree, whatever you want to call it, ancestral dowsing. I mean, ancestral stuff is interesting anyway. Um, I love li- reading about other people's ancestral stuff. I've just finished for the second time the Seven Sisters series, and I love how they go back and they mix. They know who they are now in their own sort of identities, but they go back two or three generations and learn to make sense of who they are in a much fuller way. Oh, I love those. If you haven't read the Seven Sisters series by um, Lucinda Riley, I was going to call her Belinda, it's not, that circles in the sand. Lucinda Riley, um, then, yeah, absolutely amazing. So the ancestral stuff is just fascinating. You've read the series as well, haven't you, Jane? Oh, I know. And I love ancestral stuff as well. I, I deal with it slightly differently to you and work with it differently. Just it, it, but it's all the same thing. I think that's the thing, you know, we hold so much stuff from our ancestors. We hold their beliefs. We hold their mannerisms. We hold that well it's DNA in in some cases but that's not to say that you know you you, if you're not sure where your ancestral roots are that doesn't matter does it no no it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you don't know who your parents are it doesn't matter if you've never met them it doesn't matter if you do know who your parents are and you like them or you don't like them you can still clear with the dowsing things that you've inherited from your ancestors whether you have met them, haven't met them, know anything about them. Um, But what is interesting is that when you... So if I explain how I use dowsing to clear ancestral stuff, and then if you want, maybe you could say how you do it, and then we can see what the differences are. And then there'll be lots of other ways in in between, because as with dowsing, there isn't just the one way, there's lots of ways in how you interpret it. So if I get... um, And generally, I sort of... I'll douse before a client comes and, and and sort of have a little chat around different things. You know, are we going to be doing past life stuff? Are we going to be doing ancestral? And so it's sort of, I can, I can sort of know what's, what's going to be coming up. What's headlining for that session. I like to know what's headlining. Um, but it's, it's just useful to know. So if it is going to be an ancestral thing um, and we find a core belief, what I love to do, and this uh, is just so exciting. So you have somebody and the core belief, is fully theirs. Um, right, I'm just going to find a core belief because I can't think of it off the top of my head now because I've got all giddy. Right, so if we've got um, a core belief of I am always judged, um, so you feel like I am always judged, and so I get the client to say it out loud because if you say it in your head, you can con yourself it's not one of yours. So you say it out loud, I am always judged. And then they say whether it feels true, false, or in between. Don't need to know anything else about it. Don't need to know where the story comes. Don't need to know anything about life events, nothing. It stays private to the client. And then, so they say that out loud, I'm always judged. So then I will say, I think this could be, do my little dowsing, is it ancestral? It's ancestral. Should we just clear it ancestrally first? And then you'll see what you're left with. And when you clear it, ancestral, we sort of do the words, even though I have this core belief like that. And we do the words and it's ancestral. We clear it up and down the family lines. And I always, I always do it up and down the family lines, regardless of whether that person has or hasn't got children. I just always do it up and down the family lines. So we, we clear it, clear it up and down the, the family lines. And then um, I don't know, I've got some weird thought going on in my head now. Us off for a moment, please. Do you mind? <laughs> so we clear it up and down the, the family lines, and then I'll say back to the client, okay, any memories, flashbacks, and, and pretty much there isn't any because you're not clearing your stuff, you're clearing it ancestrally. And then the person will check in and go, I am always judged. And then they'll be like, it's not even one of mine. I'd, I feel a bit stupid now for saying that. That's that's not even mine. Or they'll say, Well, it's yeah, it is, but it's not as strong as it was before. It's probably in between. 
and you can feel how and, it's, and emotions if you clear an emotion from an ancestrally clear an emotion ancestrally when you think so like for ancestrally for if you had emotions going on when you were in the womb of your mum or when your mum was in her mum's womb you have got all of so your mum was in your mother's in your grandmother's womb your mother even when she's a tiny little peanut sized thing has got all the information of the eggs that will create you in the future if your grandmother is having a hard time then all of those emotions feed down to your mother who will be born shortly but also to you because you're you're in that you're in that you're in that line you're in that family line so the general 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 easy for me to say generation generation i can't say it generation generationally <laughs> generational right going back generations you want to be going back about three um at least three generations to be able to get that that good clear out and it's always good to do a good thorough clear out for up and down the family lines so whatever was going on for like whatever was going on for my grandmother when she was pregnant with my mum will it have affected me and I would have carried some of those emotions through whatever was going on for my mum when she was pregnant with me will have affected me as well so before you're even born you've got two grown-up set of emotions and core beliefs that are affecting that are affecting you. So there's loads of stuff ancestrally that will that can link through. So then you can clear all that out. So clearing an emotion, and then you can, I'm, I'm doing it with a dowsing, so we find out what the emotion is. Is it So if you find an emotion, is it ancestral? Get a yes, and then you would clear it ancestrally, and then see what, what you're left with. Has it gone completely, or have you still got a little bit? Because we all have life events of our own, so we will pick up, you know some some bits and bobs but when something feels really really big I don't know how many percentage of the time but I would guess 95 percent of the time you can clear a lot of that emotion by doing the ancestral stuff first and then go right what what's yours now what what is purely yours that you've not got you know you've not brought forwards with you um and then also if it's an emotion if you don't know where it's come from, I like doing this on a family tree, and especially if I've got a client who's got all of their family tree and we can explore it round and they know who the people are. But even if you don't know, I mean, I don't know my family tree. It's something I'd like to do. It's on my, you know, one of my things to do. Um, but you can then go, right, okay, we've got this core belief. Did it start with this person? No, okay. And then you go back, was it the mother, the father? And then you can go back and work out exactly where that, emotion came from exactly where that core belief came from and if you know about your family history then that's going to make sense but I'd love to work with one of those programs where you sort of you know like the who do you think you are where you can actually go down somebody's um, family tree and then work out all the emotions and core beliefs so but by clearing those out you don't clear out your identity your identity stays the same your personality stays the same but how you react things and decisions you make you make them with a lot more clarity because you haven't got all that stuff so yes I could talk for hours and I love the ancestral stuff and I love clearing ancestral lines and just that look on somebody's face when they go it's not even mine anymore it's like not even done anything for you yet you've just done ancestral stuff Ta -da! oh it's it's good it's really good Oh, exciting. Oh, Amanda, I love how you're so passionate about clearing ancestral stuff. It is just, it's a joy. It's a joy to see your passion, you know, and I, I really can see how clients can really shift stuff really quickly. I think that's the thing. And, you know, that whole thing about when you have to comprehend the whole egg thing of yes. being an egg, <laughs> an egg. That's kind of like, whoa, okay. That's that, a Russian that... doll, isn't it? If you think of a Russian doll and there's three of them. <laughs> yeah. But I think that explains kind of ancestral stuff really well, you know, how it can be imprinted and that stuff that you're carrying doesn't belong to you, never did belong to you. You've just, you've, you've just picked it up. Just picked it up. Yeah, wow. And, and also with um, 
because it's if if somebody if anybody's watching this and they've got emotions they've been trying to clear them they've got stuck try and clear it up and down the family lines just ask for it to be clear because you'll you'll feel such a difference if that's where it's got stuck I mean the other one which is probably another episode is past lives so I would check is this ancestral is it is it past life but those questions to be able to home in and and sort of really work out you've got this person here where is their stuff from is it all ancestral is it you know if that if past lives is your in your belief system then it could be that past lives has affected it as well and i work with them in much the same way but yeah excited it is exciting stuff it's just i feel like miss marple when i'm doing it i feel like i just like i go all complete investigator because it's you can really get your teeth into the questions. It's it's good, but that's how I do it. So how do you do? It? How do you do yours? Uh, I yeah I I, I well I, I I work similarly with doing um, emotional dowsing and and do a similar way. But when I'm doing energy healing, very different. <laughs> really really different because I I'm intuitively picking up on ancestral stuff and clearing it and I just sometimes it'll be a thought a word a feeling that I just think this doesn't belong to this person this doesn't there's something doesn't feel right the energy doesn't feel right and, and you can see that sometimes as well can't you so you can yeah sometimes I I get I a, a really <laughs> really strong image comes up um and I guess as well, actually, it's kind of um, it li really links into the shamanic work that I do as a therapeutic um, shamanic practitioner, that when you journey, you you can journey to meet the ancestors. <laughs> and you can you can connect with the ancestors and receive healing and messages and things in that way. And ag again, you know it, it's just working on a different level um and it's not necessarily about you know getting your pendulum out and saying do I need to do a journey for this it's it happens quite organically and I think that's sometimes with ancestral stuff you start to clear things organically rather than setting an intention I'm going to do this it just happens it just happens and connecting with the ancestors you know I'm often out up on Dartmoor Dartmere, Dartmoor. <laughs> I'm probably at Dartmere too, wherever that is. <laughs> Connecting with with the ancestors and doing ancestral um, ancestral journeying and healing and um, working with them as well. You can work with your ancestors um, and ask them for help and support. You know, a bit of bit of guidance sometimes because I think it's important to recognise that. Um, um, an ancestor can only be someone that has died. Yes. I think that's the thing. It's well, that's my interpretation of it. I don't know about you, but yeah, it's it's we have we have a wall and we call it the ancestors wall and it's got grandparents, great grandparents and great great grandparents. And it's yeah, it's, it's the ancestors. And it's uh, yeah, that's that's who we sort of say good morning to and <laughs> good night ancestors. Um, but it's um, because, you know, they're, they're with us all around in the energy and spirit and, and things. So, um, you know, we still want to draw on that wisdom. And I absolutely love your ancestors wall. I've, you know, I think it's great. It's just and it's got a really lovely energy about it. You know, you can really and I think it's great that you can connect with them visually as well. So our energies, it's just a reminder, isn't it? That, you know, but even if you don't know who your ancestors are, you can still connect with an, the energy of an ancestor. And I know I've when I've done um, ancestral healing and you kind of like go in a timeline and you take a step back um, for each generation and then you step out of the line um, 
and do the healing wherever that is back and and you go down the the sort of mother line and the father line that they're doing them separately and then you step out and then you can do a whole load of healing but you can do dowsing for that you could douse you could I'm thinking here how could you douse and so you could get your family tree and you could douse have mm. I got anything that I need to heal in my ancestral line and you know <coughs> That could be really powerful. That could be really powerful. <coughs> Sorry, I've got some sort of cough. I've done the um, dowsing a family tree before to clear it. I did it for summer day. Oh, a while back. I mean, we, we do bits of family trees in lots of different sessions, but when somebody actually gave me the family tree and we doused the whole lot, I did that a while back. And, um, and that was interesting to go down and, and say, okay, is there anything stuck here? Is there anything stuck here? And it was almost like to heal it. And so for future generations, you, you had this thought sort of cleansed and cleaned and, and healed um, family tree and just been able to douse, yeah, if, if there's anything stuck. And it might not necessarily be emotions or core beliefs. It might just be that there's something that's got stuck, a strategy or something else. And then you can just sort of release, release that and, yeah. It's I think you know it's really interesting when you look back down a, a back down a timeline and you kind of jump in and out of the timeline when you go back many generations and you think about the, their quality of life and their life experiences and things like that and that can have an impact you know you know if someone was um, in in however they were living could be having an impact on how you experience things now and at, you know at a cellular level and so it's not just going back to your grandparents it's the grandparents the grandparents the grandparents of the grandparents and the great 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 and you can keep going back you can go right back to all the, way back. the beginning of time of when you know you were first well I'm not very good at history. I need my timeline. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long time ago. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you can you can keep going back because you're you're affected by your grandmother, but also and your mother, but also your grandmother will have been affected by her mother and her grandmother. So you you, you do have to keep going all the way all the way back. Um, yeah, I was going to say something else about the male side, but it's maybe not appropriate to say that. <laughs> on the on the on some words that I've, that I've touched on it, the um, but the male side, it's like the the eggs in a lady do not have the same sort of. It's very different. They've got um, they're around for a lot longer than the man's contribution to a to a, a child, which which we don't which we don't cover on come dials with me. That'd be for someone else. <laughs> and probably I was just trying to avoid there. saying the word sperm, but I've said it there. I've done it. I've said it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh. Oh, oh. Just because it makes me laugh. Oh yeah, we always have to laugh when we're when when we're dancing. <laughs> I can't even speak. <laughs> yeah, so doing the family trees, it always inspires me to get going on mine. And then I get a little, another like, oh, I want to do my complete family tree. Uh, and I've done sections of it. I've done a bit here. And I, and I yeah, it sort of, it, it does inspire me. I feel inspired again now to get, my, you know, to, to, to sort of do a little bit more. But uh, they can be, they can be big old jobs when you get, first get started, <laughs> first get started trying to, I think it is good to know who they were and not only who they were but what they did what their what what their work was and yeah and you can douse you can douse for that if you didn't know if you know I know there's census records and you could go and get built all technical and do genealogy and whatever but you could just douse and find yeah. out you know douse their name even douse douse names and if anyone wants to know how to douse names that's a little bit more complicated but yeah you can go through the alphabet or you can get it spelt out because sometimes names were spelt differently as well so maybe that's another that'll be in another series i expect <laughs> I, I should imagine so we'll put that on the list for a future future efforts 
so yes so family trees get yours out make some comments tell us about whether you've got any experience of you know clearing anything for yourself or for the people around family trees and uh, up and down ancestral lines and yes share share the comments on on ancestors we'd love to hear we'd love to hear about it and find out what you've been doing and in the meantime happy dowsing happy dowsing bye